It's something that has to do with our existence in this world, and I couldn't accept it. I couldn't. And then, this way, after I went through many hands, I didn't believe. I felt that it wouldn't satisfy me, it won't fulfill me. Once, maximum twa, twice, and I saw that that's it. First time you maybe open up a bit, it confuses you, it captures you, fulfills you to some extent. Second time where you scrutinize it, criticize it, it's not for me. I'm maybe not smart, but it has to be felt in the heart, and I didn't accept it. Until I found the wisdom of Kabbalah. And here I immediately felt that it speaks of something that my heart surrenders to, yields to. And here I can find contact with God, meaning with a higher force. But that kind of a higher force, many there are many kinds, I don't know. Everyone can depict whatever they want for themselves. But here I will truly discover the higher force, like the wisdom of Kabbalah means that, that there is none else besides him, that he is good that does good, that he encompasses, fulfills the world, that he is everything, and a person has the ability to attain him according to the law of equivalence of form. And only on condition that a person transcends to the nature of God, meaning you can discover him only if you are equal to him, if you are similar to him. And from all the science that I studied, I was 33, when I really discovered the wisdom of Kabbalah, before that I was searching in different other places. So I saw that it's also according to science and psychology and philosophy. In short, all of the serious, more or less, things that a person has in this world, it takes all these things together, using them correctly, and all in all, this method is a scientific method. A judge has only what his eyes see. What we do not discover or reveal, we cannot call by name meaning there's no faith, the word faith, like I believe that it's like this and like that, that there is a suitcase floating in space or something, no such thing. Everything comes from attainment, and attainment is the clearest, deepest, most trustworthy understanding which I can acquire. Must there be some kind of a method by which a person advances in order to get to know God, or you simply can make contact with him, get in touch with him? No, there isn't. The entire method is to get in touch, to make contact with the Creator. But it says that Abraham talked to God, uh, so it says. In the meantime, we have to close all these books and first learn the language these books were written in. And then we'll understand that it's not what we thought it is. A person has to change his qualities, his attitude towards life, his attitude towards the environment. He has to accept this entire world as a world given to him to change himself for self-change, that everything was created for me, that everyone was created for me, what does it mean? That with their help I change myself to become like God. And then, when I use the entire world correctly, gradually I reach equivalence of form, equivalence of qualities, desires, inclinations with God, and then gradually I come into contact with him. But we see that many people talk to God and search for contact with him without undergoing this change. It's imaginary. Imaginary. 
It's impossible. All in all, we live in a world in which there are laws, and the general law of the world is called the law of equivalence of form. If I feel something in my five senses or beyond my five senses, this could be only if my sense, to some extent, is similar to the phenomena that I'm about to feel. If we have the same nature, then I feel this phenomenon, and this phenomenon, or this someone, feels me. So this yearning that we have to be in touch with God that awakens very powerful feelings in us, it pushes us towards this process? Depends. Many people were ready to reveal the Creator because by that they discover the meaning of life, the purpose of life, their whole life changes. They know what's good and what's not in life. Their entire system of value changes, everything. What am I living for? I'll die, but what will be the sum total I die with, the sum total of my life? Many people want it. But all in all, when it comes to what do I have to invest in order to achieve it, here 99% return to their ordinary life, and 1%, it's not even 1%, but they continue until they achieve a covalence of form and accordingly the revelation of God. And then I and God are together. Our show is almost up. There are plenty of questions left about God. We'll have another talk about it. I'd like for you to sum up what we talked about. God and I, what do I have to take as a summary from this talk? There is a God, a higher force, that truly controls everything and gave each and every one of us an opportunity to get to know Him, to understand Him, but by changing our nature, where this plan of how to change nature is called the Wisdom of Kabbalah.